Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I'm going to be working on a challenge by Marguerite Miller. And um, she has put out, let me get them out of here and I can show them to you. These uh, 50 prompts for creating a deck of collage cards. I'm doing mine on um, a, a tag, but she's doing hers on an index card. So we just have all these that we can cut out. And it's just one prompt, prompt, I can't talk, and you work with that. So today's prompt is a form, blank or filled out. And I love that she's put them on these little tickets and they're not white and they look a little grungy and I, I think I really like them. So this is the size of tag that I'm using. I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and cut it in half both ways and came up with this size and then I don't waste any of my paper. So for my form I found this piece of paper that I had. It's a scrap, a digi scrap, and there's a form on there. So I'm going to glue this to here. Probably, probably go down as far as I can. But let's get some glue on here. I'm going to use my, I've been, I used this the other day and I checked the stuff that I glued with it and it was not wrinkle or anything. It, it was really good. So um, I just have Elmer's school glue, school glue mixed with water in there. I'm going to have to put a little bit more in there. So I just, I wrote on here plus water. Um, but this is really cheap. Um, I, I got this little thing off T-Mail and paid more than I would like to. I think it was seven dollars it was on sale. Um, but I think it's going to save me some money. So, and it's been, I don't know, a few days since I did this, and that glue is still good in there. So, I just know that's not going to be enough. So, then it has this little lid. I'll put it up here. And then these are plastic, but they work. I didn't think they'd work. I was like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? I just realized I got my mat on here wrong. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. Um, I had it off because I was standing on my desk a while ago. I'm having big trouble with my... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a magazine. I'm having big trouble with my thing that holds my camera. It keeps falling out of it. So I was just showing it to Hubby, and I'm hoping we can get it fixed tomorrow. I knew I'd be sloppy with this, so I got my magazine out. But you can spread this out fairly thin with this thing. some of it off of it, I don't think. And then the lid serves as a rest for your brush while you're working. Oops. To scoop that over. And I didn't go down as far as I planned, but it's okay. It'll be okay. The form's on there, that's the important part. Okay, let me get my scissors. <laughs> I was having a hard time figuring out what to do for this. And then I went through my, I've got a container that's got my magazine cutouts and a container that's got my digital cutouts. And I found a few things that I think I can make this work. Now, 
I'm going to mark it to, um, oh, I don't have my, I gotta turn this around. <laughs> I need my ruler. I don't want centimeters. All right, here we go. So, here's the center. And how do I want to poke them? I'll probably just do a regular hole. Now we have that. Oh, there's that thing I was missing. She's found it. Okay. Now I want to ink this. You know, last time I didn't do the back of the card. I was kind of upset with myself because I didn't. So I don't know if there's not enough. Well, I'll figure it out later. Okay. Um, what I found that sparked my interest was this. I think that is really pretty. So we're going to put this on here. I kind of want to tear it a little bit better. But I like that it's torn. I like to turn my stuff over backwards to tear because... I just can't get out of the habit of tearing towards me. When I try to tear away from me, I don't do a very good job. And then this white edge is on the front. So I'm thinking, let's um, tear this too. Since this isn't going to cover the entire tag, and it can go like that. I want to take it over some because I'll probably go down a little bit too. Um, so that it's not so close to there. Okay, so I'm going to take my nail and rub it on the edge, except I don't have nails. Just kind of getting where I want it. I'm not going to cut it, but that'll help me know where to glue it. So I don't have a bunch of glue hanging over. Okay. So we'll get some glue on here. I think I like the other one better. There's two brushes that came with it, and I think I like this one better. I did this one the other day, and I thought, well, I'll try that one tonight. But I felt like I did better with this one. And I should have had my magazine and do this. Keep looking up to make sure that it's recording because my last video it turned off on me. I'm having problems with my camera charging the battery. That's crooked. That is very crooked. It's very just gonna have to stay very crooked too. <laughs> So then I pulled out some things here that I liked. Huh, I just got a message that my grandson has started rolling over. He's three months old. <laughs> she kept saying he's going to roll over fast. Okay, so I've got a couple postcards and some 
postage stamps. I have one of oh, this thing. I didn't know if I'd want that or that. So, and I need to cut this out real quick. Oops, that's the, one of my tips, this tip is bent on my scissors. I don't know what I was doing that did that, but I did it somehow. This just looks like a stack of old letters. I believe it's out of a Reminisce magazine. I play those every time I see them. And I don't know what that's out of. I have no idea what, what I got that out of. I do remember I used this side of it. That's why it's torn like that. I don't remember what I used it in. letters. Do I want that or do I want a postcard? Well, I don't want it to cover up these people, that's for sure. Maybe I'll put it right there. I'll do that. Maybe I can put those with it. We'll see how that goes. But I also had these flowers and I thought I would put a flower with this. Right there. That would be pretty right there. I like that. Okay. Okay. Let's put this down. on that and didn't. Oops, I got some glue. Okay. Not upside down. And I want that one on there too. Probably. Well, I could put it like that. That would be cute. These look like, I mean, they, I think they're pictures of embroidery flowers. They remind me of the embroidery patterns. This, these are, this was in an older magazine. And they remind me of the embroidery patterns my mom put on a denim shirt for me when I was a kid. She made me a denim short shirt and embroidered all kinds of stuff on it. I loved that shirt. It was really popular then to have that. When she did that, I mean, it was glue everywhere. It's not sticking down. I don't know if I didn't get enough glue on it or what. This is thicker. Then I have, I have a, I think I'm probably going to want this one. And I know what that says, 19 something on it, but 
it is what it is. We're just going with it. It's going to be cut though. Where's it? Do I have April? Yeah, I have April. I'm going to put April right there. Or do I just want to pick one of these stamps? I'm going to put it in a stamp. Yeah, that, I like that a lot, a lot better. Yeah, these are a digital. I don't know where I got them. But they're really pretty. I've been working at night and cutting up all my digi prints and my magazines and stuff and I've really been using them a lot since doing that. And I know I've seen lots of very good collage people that are like, don't cut them. <laughs> don't do it. But I did and I like it. I've got to work on my storage of them though. The way I have them right now, it's, you got, it takes forever to go through them. Okay. Oh, the ticket. Where's my ticket? Oh, there it is, right there. Gotta quit waiting till last to put this on because. Then I don't really have a good place for it. I don't think I'll stick it right there. I think it's done. Except I gotta put something right there. I didn't get that cut off quite right. There we go. Now I am seeing some wrinkling tonight, so I don't know what I've done different. Because my last one didn't wrinkle at all. I had absolutely no wrinkles with it. Oh, look what I just did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. It just looks distressed. It's okay. <laughs> Let me put some ink there where it's curling. It's okay. This is just a stamp that I like to use to do that with. I have no idea what, where it came from. I know it's stamping up, but I don't know. Like, it's just a random stamp that I had. And I think that's everything I'm going to do to it. Like I said, I am seeing some wrinkling. So, I don't know. I'd show you my last one, but I can't figure out where I stored it. So, here we go. Thank you for joining me. I'll have a link to Marguerite Miller's YouTube in the description box if you'd like to join along. Um, she's on week four. I'm on week three. So you're not very far behind at all. Bye.